He's loud. Viagra? Very loud. Erectile dysfunction? A pharmacist shouting out prescriptions. Rash medication? And it doesn't matter what kind of medicine you're picking up. Herpes? If there's any confusion about whose medicine it is, he makes it crystal clear. All right, Mr. Gingert. From Connecticut, huh? We're at Wayne Pharmacy in Wayne, New Jersey. Jeremy, of course, is an actor. He's playing the role of a pharmacist who's violating every privacy law in the book. A lot of people have herpes. It's making a big comeback. We got this idea from another viewer who'd rather have her own identity kept private. What would you do if you heard this? Wart cream? Genital warts? Is wart yeah, cream for that? Yeah, is that you? Do you know how to apply this wart cream? It's in the directions, okay. Where is it exactly? Hard go there. It's personal. Right away, this woman is clearly uncomfortable. Daniel Gingert, Connecticut, huh? You ever had warts before? No, oh, man, the doctor just said to take this, so... Watch the humidity. Humidity makes it worse. She just has to say something to the other pharmacist. But she's also working with us. That is the most embarrassing thing. I, I don't want to come in here if he's here anymore. I've never been more humiliated in my life. All right, let's go out. Let's go out. Time to calm things down here. Hi. I'm John Quinones with What Would You Do? <laughs> I love it. That was the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. You were good. <laughs> I mean, I work in the health field, so I know what HIPAA laws oh. are and, and how you don't discuss this and everything. That's I do. Well, here's Dan. He's the victim. Yeah, he's <laughs> and I am wart free. Oh. <laughs> it's not the last time we'll see that look of embarrassment. Herpes? Is that you, miss? Uh, yeah. Have you ever taken this stuff before? Yeah. Okay, you know not to be sexually active in here, right? Yeah, can you not say it though? That's it's so loud though, please? This woman can't even look in our pharmacist's direction. I know you were in here for the birth control last month. And now you're coming in for the herpes medication, so it's clear to me what's happening. What's next, huh? Just how uncomfortable will things get here? Still, she doesn't say a word. So Jeremy grabs the next bag. Wart cream? This is heavy duty stuff. You want to apply that right to the affected area. I'll just area. read the directions. Thank you. How'd you get warts? You in a fraternity? I just pay for it. A lot of frat guys around here with warts. He's so obscene, Deanna Grossman starts texting her husband about the pharmacist. But she says nothing until he's out of earshot. Oh, I've never had this experience here. I've been coming here for a long time. My husband's been coming here for years, and I was just yeah, like, he's oh, new. Okay, gotta go. I feel like I'm on that show. What I know, you right? Do? It is. What would you do? Oh, oh my gosh! Really? <laughs> no way! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! I didn't think that was allowed. <laughs> well, it's not. Oh yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, I let I let her know because I figured they could handle it. That's in good. the background. Throughout the day, the prescriptions keep coming. Birth control? I recognize you from earlier. You've been in a couple times for that plan B, huh? This is much better. And people keep complaining. Not to him, but to Tracy. Hemorrhoids? Sorry, irritable bowel? Is that you? Yeah, both, huh? That's not fun. Still, others want nothing to do with this. Viagra. That's not <laughs> Pretty young to need Viagra, my man. Can I just get it? If your erection is longer than four hours, you need to call your doctor. Like it or not, Jeremy keeps grabbing those bags. The foot odor? It's pretty bad. Hopefully after a couple weeks, the smell will begin to die down. You should probably buy new shoes. Don't use any of the same socks. Thank you. Can you not say it's allowed, though, please? Sorry. One after another. Gonorrhea? Gonorrhea? Is that you? I didn't even know they still had gonorrhea. We don't see very a lot of it. All right. Jeremy's on thin ice. You here for the birth control? Yeah. Can you keep it down a little bit, please? Yeah. And that's when we meet this woman. Bowel movements, hemorrhoids. 
So yeah, you're totally covered on, on both the hemorrhoid cream and the uh, okay, calcium stuff. Can I just pay for it? Can I just pay for it? That's great. Thank you. She just can't believe her ears. She's really loud. Right. All right, Mr. Gingert. There's also some Depends right there. Thank you. Oh, come on. Um, can I just sign for it, please? And then finally, for the first time all day, someone directly confronts our pharmacist. Sir, yes. I think you're being really like, I think you need to be a little bit quiet. The oh, doctor well, probably took care of all of that information. And a lot of times these doctors doesn't matter. Yeah, matter. it doesn't matter. I don't, I think you need to be a little bit nicer. And, he has hemorrhoids and irritable bowel. It doesn't matter don't. what he has. I think you should just give him his card back Thank you. and he should leave. And when Dan leaves the building, she really lets Jeremy have it. Thank you. You obviously have issues. You need to go to a doctor. I don't even know where that girl went. She was crying. You're telling her about Plan B. Nobody needs to know. You can tell Eddie. The only thing she needs to know is who's going to fire this guy. That's bullshit. She doesn't need you to tell him. She knows what she has to do. It's none of his business. Well, he should be fired. Finally, it's time to file a formal complaint. I'm going to get the manager. I don't name, know. Someone name, else can get me manager. His name I is John Quinones. And he's coming right now. He's behind you. That's <laughs> 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 part of what would you do. <laughs> I'm so happy that poor girl is so upset. An actress, of course. It's not my business what she's going through, what he's going through. And I'm still mad at you. <laughs> You were so cool and so calm. Well, my mom, we try to stay calm and collected in every situation. <laughs> Out of 18 people all day, Elise Dean is the only one to give Jeremy a taste of his own medicine.